Welcome to a new machine tutorial. I'm your host Grits and Gravy. In today's video, we're going to look at the basics of working with MIDI inside of Machine. So my goal in this video is to just cover the basics of MIDI. So we're going to look at the drag and drop function, saving MIDI to a file, and also I want to look at some quick uh, routing capabilities inside a machine. So I'm just going to play this beat real quick and then we'll kind of solo out some instruments and then start working with MIDI. Okay, so here on pad five, I would say it's like a brass type sound, but it's inside a massive. So say I like this pattern for this brass instrument, but I want to stack another instrument on top of it, perhaps, or just work with the MIDI. Okay, so I resize this window so you can actually see because it's right here. So say I wanna work with this instrument and it's on pad five. So we go to an empty pad. So pad two is empty. So what you would do is you click this little uh, MIDI icon and you drag it to the actual uh, slot. So slot two, sound two. So now what we have is just MIDI on the second insert. Okay, so now let's find another sound to work with. So I'm just gonna browse through. So maybe this one. Okay, so now we got this sound in here. I'm gonna bring it up an octave so you can hear it better. So same pattern, just a different sound. And when you unmute, so that's where we got it from, from the brass sound. So now they're playing together. So you can see how that can be useful and you can use your imagination and just pull MIDI from different instruments inside of the beat already to kind of stack the beat and make it more fuller. So now I want to show you another feature and this is how to save your MIDI to a file. So this can be helpful if you want to save it and bring it into a different beat or just bring it back into the project, but you just want the MIDI file saved to your computer. So what you want to do to save your MIDI is just go to your sound. So this is sound number five. You're going to right click export MIDI. Um, give it a name so you know what it is. So brass loop and you save it. So now you go to a blank slot and then you would click import MIDI. And this is just what we, this is what we saved right here. We open it up, boom, there you go. So now I can load up an instrument. And it'd be the same thing. So that's doing MIDI from a file. Okay, so the last feature that I wanna talk about, I am not an expert on, but we're gonna dive into it anyway, is the routing capabilities um, inside a machine as far as MIDI when you're in the sound level you notice you have MIDI options you don't have them in the master you don't have them in group when you click on sound this third tab right here you have MIDI here's a trick that I want to show you and it's basically just triggering two sounds and you're only hitting one pad so remember we just loaded up this sound on slot number one if I change the destination to five, which is the brass sound, now when I hit, now when I hit my pads, I'm playing both sounds at the same time. Okay, so just for a real quick example, so I have two kicks loaded up. So just think of it like whichever sound you want to be the master sound, you send it, basically you send the MIDI to the other sound. So I have this kick and I have another kick loaded up on pad five. So you send MIDI information to the other pad. So when I have two selected right here, you can select five. So now when I hit two, it sends it to five. 
but notice how when I hit five, it doesn't send it back to two. So if I want to control both with just one pad, then I have to hit two. So this can be really helpful if you have a set of sounds and say, for example, you're finger drumming, you can send sounds to each other. So you only have to hit one pad at a time. So thank you for tuning in. Please make sure to like, comment and subscribe on this video. Let me know what you want to see in future tutorials and be making videos and I'll catch you in the next one. All right, later.